Right, Merlin cylinder head step two then, the top side and exhaust faces. Um, everything's set up ready to go. Uh, I think I've got all the cameras turned on rather than taking pictures or filming through a blurred lens, although I did just try putting that one in upside down, so whether that becomes an outtake or not, I don't know. So uh, I'll um, take a Z reference off of the uh, top of a bolt hole, which I'll discuss in a second. X and Y on this is all jigged, and because we're located on dowel holes on the underside of the head that are already machined, uh, that remains consistent uh, across this entire batch of uh, step two. So we just have to reprobe Z each time, um, just making sure we've cleared the uh, Z references on uh, the other memory locations. So, let's hop to it. Right, so I've got the 3D probe uh, lined up, ready to take our Z reference off this inner head bolt hole. Um, on the early, very early style of Merlin cylinder heads, all of the inner uh, bolt holes, the uh, ones that are covered by the rocket cover, were the same height, uh, whereas later on they were redeveloped and the outer two holes of the inner five, if you follow me, uh, are now the same si uh, size or same height and same length bolt as the uh, lower row or the outer row of five. So, um, right, we'll take a Z reference. Okay. So the first thing the machine's going to do is just take off these uh, tall stands that uh, have uh, been left on for casting. Sometimes the castings come to us without them and they're machined down a bit more, um, fettled down a bit more as the uh, casters call it. Um, these ones haven't had that done to them, so uh, we've just got a little subroutine that we run with that on. We won't show the whole thing, it's a lengthy process, so we'll just knock them down. Uh, and then um, I'll start describing what the machine's doing after that with the, uh, all the machining processes. So just select the right program. Execute that and hit the go go button. As I say, the first thing it's going to do is just machine down those stands that are on top of where the rocket pedestals would normally bolt to. Uh, obviously it machines a fair bit more material than is actually there because those stands uh, are very rough casting and they change in size uh, for, from cylinder head to cylinder head. So we'll show a little bit of this just to fast forward but then make a cut in the video and go on to the bit we actually want to see, the actual machining of the cylinder head. those cleaned off, uh, just left a tiny little bit standing up on the edge which uh, could be only about 10 they thick, it just broke off. Um, I might change that section of the programme just to come out a little bit further the next time. So now we can actually start the, the real programme, so let's hit the go button and uh, I'll talk through what it's doing at the time. Okay, so a quick tool change. And the first thing it's going to do is come down and machine the tops of um, the casting where the cylinder head bolts are actually going to uh, pass through. So we're just squaring them off really, ready for the washers to make to. There's the inner three first because they're at a different height. The outer two uh, on the inner row that are under the rocket cover. Um, it does start higher up, 
because there is a little bit of side machining to do as you go down to where the uh, bolt head is actually going to be situated. Okay, so next uh, the machine comes down and takes the Z reference off of the base of the jeep. So there's a little um, uh, machine face there which is at the same plane as the face of the cylinder head. So that's our zero, our dent in the face of the cylinder head. And next it's going to come in and machine the uh, rocker pedestal bases. So it knows what height they should be from the uh, face reference and that is accounting for what we've actually got to remove off the head in our final skin at the moment. Sometimes there isn't quite enough casting here, it's just shrunk back when it was in the casting sand. And so at the end I do just check these and sometimes have to take an extra five or tenth hour off uh, just to clean up the, the faces there. More commonly on the um, very outer positions where we put the rocker shaft uh, support brackets, uh, not the main pedestal bolt holes. Okay, so this next step is machining for the um, oh, core plugs. Coolant. Coolant core plugs. Uh, it's actually done in two steps with two different tools. Um, I think this could actually be somewhere I can just optimise this program slightly and save a couple of minutes um, just by uh, doing everything with this first tool rather than switching to the second. But I need to actually get in the program, have a look, and uh, see what's going on. One thing that is happening is the uh, casting has the section that's now machining the side off of, uh, ready for the rocker cover bolts, or the bolt holes. Um, we just have to take a very slight um, radius out of that uh, so the core plugs can pass, uh, pass by it. Right, so um, now the machine's waiting for me to blow out a valve guide hole. Um, that one in particular. So the reason for that is it takes a measurement as a reference from here for the rocker pedestal uh, bolt holes and the oilway hole as well, which is drilled uh, from top and then from bottom later on, which you'll see in video three. So with that blown out, we can hit the go button. The probe will come down, take a Y reference off that hole. X is still the same and uh, Z we still know from the base of the cylinder head. And then we'll come down and send, drill the centre holes, which also acts as a chamfer on those holes as well. Next is the drill bit for the 3.8 UNC uh, rocker pedestal bolts. And once you've drilled a hole for a thread, you have to put a thread in it. So there's the 3.8 UNC tap. Next 
is the drill bit for the 5 16 UNC taps. And this is for the two securing bolts at each end of the head for the uh, end support for the rocket shaft that we supply with the cylinder heads. And of course, that gets followed by the corresponding machine tap. Up next is the oil hole. Again, we've already piloted the centre, sorry, not piloted, centre drill for this. So as I said before, this oil hole is drilled from the top side and the underside, the uh, from chamber side. So this is just the top side being drilled. I think it has a depth of about one inch here, but I'll have a look at the machine and uh, see what the readout says. About one and a third um, of an inch, that is, this is Imperial. So next we've got the base mill, and that's now going to take a pass over the rocket cover face. Again, this is a face that um, we take a very light skim off and uh, afterwards I check it and occasionally have to take another five, maybe ten thou off the top just to make it perfectly flat. So this next step, again, is one I think if I was optimising the program a bit I could actually skip because we're taking Z reference off of the top of that um, face that we've just machined. Because we've just machined it, we know where that face is in terms of a Z measurement. However, we've 3D probed that and we're now going to centre drill the holes for the rocker cover bolts. That will then be followed by the drill bit for a quarter UNC bolt and then the tap for a quarter UNC bolt. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to take a reference off of another valve guide hole. So I'm just going to blow it out and make sure there's no swarf in it that might uh, vary the readings. So the head's now rotated to the correct angle for the valve guide holes. And as I said, the machine's going to reference from the left hand uh, hole. Just a Y reference and an X reference as well. And then it's going to machine out, oh, sorry, and a Z reference, because it's a casting point. And it's now going to machine out the pockets for the valve springs. Okay. So with the valve seat, um, sorry, the valve spring pockets done, we now turn to the exhaust face, where we just take a Z reference to, and we're just going to face that off with the face mill. Okay, so finally, uh, with that uh, faced, we just take a couple of uh, probes with hair measurements of 3D probes, so Y and Z axis, and then we're going to centre drill, drill and tap for the exhaust to manifold um, bolts. Right. That is the 
is our uh, cylinder head finished. So the exhaust uh, face is all look good. Um, I'll just spin around to the zero axis and check the other ones. So the rocket cover face is absolutely perfect, um, nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, the pedestal bases just need a very slight very slight skin. So um, I might as well show you what we what I do there. It's just a tiny little sub routine program, a sub program. Um, so just bring the z-axis, uh, the 3D probe down on the z-axis and take a probe measurement of where we are at the moment on the z. With that done, I'm just going to select a program I've got here for skimming the pedestal process. And modify it just to take Set, you can execute it, just bring the set up out of the way, and we can take a uh, 5 day skin pass off of there just to tidy up that face a little bit. Just where the casting is shrunk back, look at the extra sides, um, just where the extra support bracket bolts on that um, normal cylinder heads don't have. Merlin cylinder has had that just extra little support on the end of the rocket shaft. Um, and the right hand side of this particular casting, it's just a very slight bit where it hasn't actually machined, it's um, still a, a rough casting face, although it's, it's just got the top of the little dimple, so uh, a 5 day pass will tie down the tree. Go the right hand side of the head down. Yep, absolute spot on there now. So that is uh, the top side done. The pick a head up here that I've machined just an hour ago. That uh, is the top side finished there. So that completes this video, step two of Merlin's cylinder head. Step three to, I think, eight uh, will finish off in a third video. Uh, there's just three videos in this series. Um, I've just got a few more of this batch to actually machine the top side on, and then I can change uh, jigs for the other processes, which are spark plug holes, oil holes, end brackets, and rocker covers as well. Thanks for watching. See you in series three.